to be vlogging again. As you guys are probably aware, we have not vlogged in a couple of days, and it feels weird not to share our lives with you every day. But the daily vlog is dead. The daily vlog is done. We are far enough along in the van build that there just isn't enough happening every day. Do you think it's gonna be too loud out here? Yeah. Let's go inside. We wanted the daily vlog to very much be centered around just the Sprinter van conversion. So we are done with daily vlogging. We are back to Wednesdays, Sundays, which is van life content, and our Fridays will be Freestyle Fridays, all those recipe videos coming to you every single week. We've been waiting on the battery system. Is that right? The inverter, the batteries, everything that has to do with solar. Correct. And we had two shipments. The first one came and it was just the solar panel, so we shared that with you guys. Today, fingers crossed, we just looked at the tracking, it's in Vaughn, um, all the batteries and stuff is set to arrive. But, we don't even have Bob's van here. While we weren't vlogging, Bob had a little bit of a hiccup. With a little bit of a scare. Yeah. A piece of metal that connects to the wheel fell off. And he had just driven down to the food terminal to pick up ginger for us. And he came back and he put it in reverse. And the, and the thing like wouldn't, it would go in reverse but it would make like a grinding noise. It's like, what's going on? Yeah. I crawled under the van. The, the thing had fallen off, like the steering arm. I don't know if the, the actual technical term. <laughs> but it fell off and I was like, holy smokes. Yeah. We talked to Mercedes, talked to Russell, talked to a bunch of guys. That's super dangerous. Like if that had happened on the highway, he could have, the wheel would have wobbled out and could have flipped the van. That so, is like, I think something that we never talk about, even when we say like, why you shouldn't live in a van and all those videos we make, the scariest part about a breakdown of a van is uh -huh. it's not a, only a van and your vehicle to get you places, but it's also your home. Yeah, like Bob's living so. in it now full time. So he was just kind of beached on the sidewalk for two days and it's like rattling, you know? It's yeah. like, what, 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 you know? Yeah, so we don't have the van here yet, but we're hoping that it's all gonna work out in this beautiful, serendipitous last day of van build where the batteries arrive, Bob arrives with a repaired van. And a repaired heart. <laughs> we also have some super exciting news. Big things coming this week, next week, the rest of the summer. So we will talk more about that in a little bit. But for now, Aaron wants to show you the project we're working on. Very excited to introduce you to Mr. Fantastic Fan. Just kidding, he's not a fantastic fan. He's a Sirocco, which is way more expensive than I would have ever imagined <laughs> paying fan. for a fan. But apparently this thing is legit never quit. 12 volt fan, fully 360 degrees, made in Canada, which is Legit. amazing. Like, pointed right at my face the entire time. No, 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 it's gonna turn this way and come right down on my head here. Mm, pretty sure that fan's pointing at your face. Yeah, but it's not strong, that's a dinky one. Anyway, it's gonna be like a flipping wind tunnel in here. <laughs> okay, I won't even be able to speak. I was just putting the vlog away and I screamed basically to Eamon. I love vlogging, I really missed you guys. Um, I hope you've been missing us too, because I, li I like I like what we got here. I like, like this little relationship. Little, little lens to face. Just hanging out with these guys. I really like hanging out with these guys. Is that too much to say? Before we do anything, we gotta make our bed. Because I want to be able to stow it away and then bring it down. Yeah. So. Test. Oh, I just did laundry. So organized. No, no, that's not. A, I know where everything is. Really? Yeah. I don't know where any of this came from. It must have been from a pocket of something. This is all Mexican pesos. We've got a spot for all these. Once you start painting, I feel like you feel like everything needs to be painted. Ooh, FedEx. Right yeah, we're thinking a lot about upgrading our fridge. We love Dometic, we would just get a bigger Dometic fridge. So let me show you what that would mean and kind of why I'm hesitant to start painting everything because we might be ripping stuff out. This fridge is only a 55 liter and we're thinking of going to 100 double. liters double. It's just like we don't have much space, but what that would mean, we would have to take up almost to here, yeah, at to least. there. Gone. 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 Maybe a little drawer, a cutlery drawer. 
Yeah. yeah, gone. Water would go at the back, the like back, we did with your dad. Drawer we have to probably take out and reconfigure into just a little garage. I'm thinking we could also have a little pull out for a toilet one day. Were you thinking that? Yeah. Yeah, near the back. Go ahead. I kind of like that idea. Really? Who's gonna clean the toilet? I don't like that idea. <laughs> oh, and here's Can Park. Are they another delivery? Wait, what company are we waiting on? I thought FedEx, but they went all the way down there. I saw that tip from 40 Hours of Freedom. You gotta give them a shout out, mister. You can't just take their ideas. 40 Hours of Freedom said put it on a 45 degree angle. Then you won't get as much tomato splat. I like that. That's a great idea. I like that. It probably will still spot. Somebody told me that a spotted pythos a python? Yeah, would be perfect. So let's go see quickly before lunch. Come on. You can come with me. Look at this guy. Make a picture. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of a spotted pythos? I feel like you know you're old when all your girlfriends get together and everyone's talking about plants, where they got them, how they keep them alive. And so last weekend I was hanging out with a bunch of girlfriends and everyone was talking about plants and I don't have any. So I am on the mission. Even though Mike does not have interior plants, we're gonna find this interior plant. Jeff is whipping up. A can of six bean mix. Add whatever you got in your fridge. Today we got jalapenos, leftover tomato, corn, peppers, onion, little Let's... white balsamic vinaigrette with real olive oil from Spain. Wow. How you going, mate? It's your Aussie, mate. I ain't going on the jetty. Grab myself a shot. Nah, just kidding, mate. The depot, Home Depot. The missus is looking for a pythos. Indoor plant. Not sure they're gonna have it there. Figured I'd go for gander. See you at the depot. Sticking to the sidewalks today. I don't have the best footwear on for skateboarding. Safe to say I'm already overwhelmed. It's like this kind of thing she wants. This is marble. This is not spotted. Oh, but it's the same plant? Yeah, yeah. The trick to riding booster boards in Home Depot is to stay around the borders, like the back of the building. And basically cruise back here, no problems. Hey, George. How are you, man? Sure, you're oh, you can't ride these? All right, I'll just walk it. I got two out of the four items. The other items, they just didn't have exactly what I was looking for, so back to the office. I got your spotted pothos. Thank you! My new <laughs> I love her! We only water her when she's thirsty, when she's wilting. She'll tell you she's thirsty. She'll, she'll tell you she's thirsty. I love it. I feel like we have a new baby. We don't need a dog, we have a pythos. We have a pythos. Let's try to keep this pythos alive first and then we can get a puppy. Adopt our shop, y'all. Let's, let's shoot with the pythos in the background. <laughs> <laughs> like literally oh, anytime. You can't I, move the pythos. But anytime I do a blurbs with Beck, I'm going to arrange it so that I'm sitting so that the pythos is in the background. Well, that's why we need more pythos. Yeah, we, should we go get more? I'm in. All right, so let's do a little sit down talk here. <laughs> We have stopped the daily vlog. I think that's pretty obvious. As you can tell, we haven't been clicking that upload button. Daily vlogging was a lot more demanding than I guess we thought because we were... Because we were doing a build every day too, so you were already exhausted from just like building something. Should I sit up? Yeah. First exciting thing first, buddy. We're going to New York. First things first. We're going to New York. Yeah. We're leaving tomorrow morning. The weirdest thing happened, I was at the gym the other day before we even knew we were going to New York and these two ladies were chatting about driving to New York and they said the most optimal time to leave is 4 a.m. in the morning. So we're gonna leave at 4 a.m. We got our new pathos for bringing with us to New York. Oh, I hope we don't have any troubles bringing a live plant across the border. You'd be devastated. I would be devastated. Oh my gosh, they wouldn't do that, would they? No. Why are we going to New York, buddy? We're joining the Peachy Fam. And if y'all don't know who Peachy Fam is, that's your girl Sarah Dietschy, rhymes with Peachy. We're gonna be on her podcast, The Creative Exchange, which we're super excited about because she, she's someone we've been following for a long time. We listen mm -hmm. to her podcast when we're cruising. Um, so it'd be super cool to meet her and her crew. I'm excited to meet John Hill as well. I hope he's around because he's like pro skater. He's like pretty sick dude. 
You guys are all gonna get on your boosted boards. What am I gonna do? She's got a new boosted mini for you. You could ride the boosted Riding on my butt down the streets of New York? Well, yeah. <laughs> all right, Beck, we'll meet you there. <laughs> Super exciting, we're really excited. Of course, we're gonna bring you along. If there's any videos you wanna see us film in New York, leave it in the comments below. One of them for sure will be what we eat in a day. For sure. For sure. Exciting news number two. We got a new Puffas plant. <laughs> no, we already know that. Tell them, buddy, tell them exciting news number two. What's happening on Wednesday, hopefully? Oh, exciting. News number two. We're hopefully leaving. We're meeting up with my brother Phrase. Phrase of Phrase. On Wait, quickly account. explain your family that you have triplets in case anyone's new oh, here. Oh, if you're new here, I've got three siblings um, and they were all born at the same time. <laughs> and the two of them were identical twins and meaning like two eggs and one split. Mind blowing. They were in the newspaper. It's very rare. <laughs> and then they had me a couple years later. Explains a lot. It does explain. So a lot I'm meeting later. up with my one brother Phrase and his GF. Dean or Don, and they're coming here. So they wait, live in they're the East living. Coast. Yeah. They live in Holly, and they're gonna come here, and we're gonna roadie out to the West Coast where my brother Cam is. He lives in the West Coast, and then Moreg, because she's a complete nutter. You've met her before. <laughs> she's bought a, a, a flight, and my sister's bought a flight out to Vancouver, and we're gonna be in Vancouver, and we might get an RV and do like a van life thing out, out west. We'll see. T B A H. TBD. Oh, to be determined. TBH? TBH is to be honest, sorry. Getting my acronyms all mixed up. TBD. So we've got like a completely mental five, six days yeah. ahead of us. We also because need to in make, between that, yes, sorry. Uh, we need to do a lot of business stuff. Make a we lot have to get our business ready to go out west for the entire summer. We didn't tell you guys, but we want to be out west the entire summer. While today didn't go quite as planned, we were hoping to get that battery in as you saw us waiting for the FedEx truck. It's like my head is so close to yours. Can I was stop waiting turning? for you to say something. You're, you're like strangling me. I like being this close to I don't to you. like that. Okay. Today was a typical van build day and I think it's important that we show you guys that as well. Unless you're super organized and you get all your parts before you even start the build, there will be days when you're just watching the FedEx truck go by keeping your fingers crossed, hoping that that's your batteries. Today, we weren't so lucky, so we have to pause the van build here, but tune in probably next Wednesday. We're gonna have a complete van build. We'll show you around, we'll tour, we'll answer any questions you have about Bob's plans with the van, and that's it for today, I think. What do you reckon? I hope you guys feel like you have a little bit more update on, on what's going on in our lives, and we will see you in New York City. New York, New York! We're not going to Broadway, buddy. Aww. The last time we were there, we did. This time, we're not. <laughs> Bye. <gasps> Wait. Hold on, guys. Beck had a quick message for you. I just wanted to remind you to please like like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It really means the world to us. Thanks, guys. Bye!